depends on your learning style, I think. That's right. And and attending some of the um you know the the local organization depending on where you are I'm I'm really kind of remote so unfortunately we don't have an ITSMF which is IT Service Management Forum uh, you know meeting locally where I am however I think they're extremely important as far as having um, a camaraderie with other ITSM professionals it helps with uh, better understanding the ITIL framework as well as you know how different organizations are implementing ITIL. Uh, you know, within their groups, whether it be, you know, state organizations, national, military, commercial, they, they all HDI. Attend. Mm -hmm. HDI, yeah, exactly, yep. exactly. Mm -hmm. So I think that, yep. I think those, those are all very important. Yeah, and I actually included the, um, I just slipped to the next slide because that does make a reference to those organizations, also to the, um, some additional thought leadership resources that are available through Rightstar and through BMC. So I think, uh, yeah, again, it's um, we have a good partnership with an organization that provides some good um, online training. So if you have questions about that, we can refer you to um, our partner, ITpreneurs. Um, and we also have the ability to provide uh, for, um, for groups in class training. And I think classroom training is usually, again, a, for Certain learning styles that can be more effective. Yeah, I, I I would tend to agree. I certainly see the value of having more real life examples in there because if you tend to to, uh, to learn this on your own, it, it is often a little bit more and drier, right? I mean, there's not as many real life examples, and it, 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 you may end up just memorizing some certain concepts, and then after you take the exam, well, that was nice, but you might forget it ten minutes later. So I I certainly would would uh, hear what you're saying then. Uh, Okay. Yeah, here's a good question about the alignment between IDLE and the Microsoft Operations Framework. Um, I do get often asked about, not MOF in particular, but just about other frameworks in general. Um, probably the one I get most often asked about is CMMI. How does IDLE tie in with CMMI? And I think that IDLE is intended to be complementary to the other frameworks and certainly has a lot of similarities with um, with MOS and with the other frameworks, uh, you know, they may contradict each other. There may be some conflicts at, from time to time, but for the most part, um, most of these practices and processes are fairly widely com and commonly accepted. So, I don't know the particulars. I'm sorry uh, about about MOS, but I know that in the reading that I have done and from what I've heard in the industry, that there are Lots of complementary guidance between the two, and they certainly are intended to be used um, side by side. If if that makes sense for the organization. Nancy, did you okay. have experience with other frameworks mm -hmm. as well? I, I I do not, so I will have to defer to your answer as the the best one. We can certainly take that yep. as an mm -hmm. action if you'd like. But then I think that's a good that was a good answer. Yep. Thank you. Here's a question about um, service desk system deployments. So, what are the, what are some of the causes of failure? So, if we have a failed system deployment, um, can it be sometimes if you're not? And this goes back to the service catalog question. You know, can if you don't have the appropriate categories, for example, can that lead to failure for a service desk implementation? Um, I think there are a number of things that can can uh, can hinder the, the implementation of a, for a service desk if they are implementing an incident management or an IT service management system. Um, categorization, that's an interesting question because I think that's really key to, I know a lot of the workshops that I used to do, and Nancy, this is, I would expect, some of your experience as well. Um, BMC, BMC is thought to eliminate some of the confusion by providing a best practice categorization scheme for or, um, operational and, and uh, product categories. But how critical, Nancy, do you feel is, is um, setting up the appropriate categories for reporting and usage when doing a, an implementation for a service step? Oh, I think it's extremely critical um, because the best practice categorizations may not always be aligned with the organization. So we mm -hmm. 
we do, uh, you know, we work with, with companies who are healthcare companies, and, and it's important that they are, you know, from an operational perspective, you know, they have the appropriate um, op categorizations to define, you know, whether it's a request for, um, you know, facilities assistance for hospitals or it's request for, you know, ventilators or request, you know, for, you know, from a product and operational perspective, it's, 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 um, it's just absolutely critical for them from a trending analysis perspective. A couple of other things that impact a successful service desk implementation um, that I ran across is the infrastructure, making sure that your infrastructure is sufficient not only to be able to minimally run the applications and the performance of the applications, but to um, effectively and efficiently run those applications. Because uh, if you don't have, once again, um, adoption, successful adoption of those that are using the system because of the latency issues, then your, your, your implementation has failed. Um, also from, like, like Nikki mentioned, the categorization, the training. Training is critical. Training is critical when you go live with, an, with the service desk and your service desk agents or service desk you know, support staff aren't familiar with the application, aren't familiar with how to use it. It's too different making sure that the training, you know, if, it, if they have a current system and they're going to a new system providing um, some um, analysis of what's different. This is how you do it today in your system. This is how you'll do it tomorrow in your new system. 